Roblox is deleting popular games, people hate this Roblox YouTuber, an insane new Roblox event was announced, and also a surprise at the end, so stay tuned. And if you're new, please subscribe and let's get right into it. Alright, first year starts a pretty insane Roblox event coming soon. And this is not your typical Roblox event, you'll see what I mean. Okay, just for some context, so I have to rewind a little bit ago. So like a week ago now, or like a little bit ago now, I announced how the official Lionsgate profile was reset. And what this means is that Lionsgate, an official company, will be joining Roblox. Because whenever a company joins Roblox, they always reset the username, so the company just has their name on Roblox, which kind of makes sense. And well with this, if you aren't aware, Lionsgate is a massive movie studio who've made like some of the most popular movies in the world. So me along with many others thought that potentially, we could see a Roblox event where we watch movies. And then later it was announced that they're doing a different event so it's very disappointing. But then today we just got news of something and well, because it was just revealed that Lionsgate on Roblox will be featuring an R rated movie for 17 up experiences. Now the situation is a bit confusing, because the place apparently is just an obby. So what I'm assuming is going to happen is like, they're going to show like some exclusive clips of the movie and stuff and maybe have like the trailer and stuff playing and then the make an experience around that which is 17 and up obviously you can't watch the whole movie which i mean kind of makes sense but for the future of roblox is actually insane because now with the age rating system as we just saw roblox can now make more mature stuff and do more mature collaborations like before stuff like this wasn't even allowed but now it's all different and in the future we can see more stuff like this but anyways moving to our next story with some drama in the community so over the last few months popular youtuber Cobble cop has done this really weird thing where he's been turning every video into AI and he's made like AI versions of himself and like AI voices so that he doesn't have to make his videos anymore. It's really weird. And outside the Rolls community, he's been getting a lot of hate because everyone thinks it's very weird and like lacks personality and stuff. And people think that for the future of like YouTube and creation in general, it's just a bit like weird. And well, the reason I'm talking about this in a Roblox video is because recently he announced that he's also going to be making these AI videos for Roblox and like Let's Play Roblox videos, which is just really weird and the whole video is just like soulless. And if you read the comments, everybody's saying like, get out of the community, don't do this for Roblox. And everyone in the Roblox community and even outside the Roblox community is roasting this and just saying that it's pretty horrible and like this whole creation style of video is just horrible and in general it just sucks for the future of YouTube like imagine if all YouTubers who used AI it would just suck so literally everyone is against this and everyone thinking that he's kind of ruining the Roblox community and YouTube space with this because it's just like really weird content and like a super like it's just enhanced to get views basically and I mean for his other stuff even like Flamingo stuff spoke out saying that it's awful because everyone just hates stuff like this and with that being said let's move to our next story but pretty big scam going around so a few months ago the owner plays Zone it has him made a game called Called dice and what the game was was that you enter the game and roll a dice and whatever the dice lands on is like a robust multiplier it was like a free robust game essentially and the thing and the thing about this game was that it was only like the first couple hundred people or thousand people to play it actually get a chance to get the free robux because it's like an exclusive game and i mean this event was very cool and very fun but with that being the Rolos community a lot of people had to go ahead and ruin it recently a lot of people have been pretending to be hazem and they recreate the dice game and they advertise the game as hazem they use the same icons and everything and the entire game is just a huge scam i've seen a lot of people say that they lose robux on this which i'm not sure how the system works by the way but like the experience itself has like a couple million visits and there's a bunch of them that's not just one of them and they have game passes to like scam people with their robux and even the group has almost 100,000 people just from thinking it's Haslam giving away free robux and in general there's so much scams around these going on and to make it worse I've seen people in the comments Timmy's the one who posts this by the way I've seen people in his comment section saying how like they've seen this stuff in their recommended so it's even worse because people think that if something's recommended is real and in general it tricks a lot of people because a lot of people think this is Haslam and people are giving robux and stuff thinking they might get free robux in return but it's all a big scam and a lot of people are falling for this as we can see so if you see anything like this from a fake Haslam account make sure to report it so no one else gets scammed in the future but anyways we'll do our next wave another role so youtuber getting a lot of hate but this time it's a youtuber that's very popular in the community of the big creecraft so i feel like for some reason every once in a while a big like hate mob of creecraft responds and he started like ranting about him on twitter which i mean is fair right you don't have to like everyone's content but a lot of times the arguments that these people make are kind of stupid although this time it could make kind of sense you'll see what i mean so recently if you go on creecraft's channel he's made so much videos and so much streams and so much shorts and everything Thing about this Ubuku single situation. He's like collab with her, he's made special videos with her, he's made videos covering like every topic of it. It's pretty crazy. And because of this, a lot of people have started criticizing Creecraft. Because like although the videos aren't that bad and they're like whatever, a lot of people think it's very annoying when Creecraft like milks a trend till it like dies and he constantly like milks and reuses those same ideas over and over again. To be fair, there are different ideas, but in general, 
Everyone's kind of mad at him for just like milking this whole Uwuku single situation over and over again and constantly like collabing with her just to try to get as much views out of the situation as possible. Which I mean is kind of understandable. Like almost every stream and every video in the past like little bit has been all about Uwuku single or about like the drama or anything or like a collab with her. So it does probably get annoying and repetitive after a while. And this isn't the first time Kirk I've got criticized for them like this. Anytime he would milk any Roblox trend, people would call him out for it and say it's very annoying. But also to be fair to Creecraft, like, in the end of the day, YouTubers want views and they want to be successful, that's obvious. So Creecraft's obviously gonna do the stuff that gets him the most views and the most viewers and stuff because obviously it's clearly working. Like he's getting millions of views out of it and like thousands of live viewers and the channel's doing very well from it. And I mean Creecraft's entire job right now is to bring people what they want to see or the majority of people and this is literally what he's doing. So maybe he is milking a trend, but it's working. And obviously he can't make everybody happy, but with this situation, he's kind of making the most people that he can happy. Because as we can see, the views show, like every videos are getting millions of views and stuff. But anyways, went to our last story of a Roblox game getting taken down and a very popular one of that. And the story is pretty wild, it's actually insane. Okay, so yesterday popular game Guesty, which has almost 100 million visits, was completely deleted off Roblox. It wasn't just taken down and held for a review, it was completely deleted off the platform. And obviously people started to freak out, wonder like what was going on and why the game got taken down. And the developer followed up by saying that he got a DMCA like copyright strike from his game for a free UDC item or a UDC item he had in his game. And he even said that he was said he's going to remove the UDC and Roblox still said they're going to keep the game taken down. And well, the UDC creator did respond saying that they did use the stuff without permission apparently. And a lot of people did get mad at the UDC creator because they said like it would have been better to talk to the developer first before like striking down and just taking the game down. Which I mean does make sense, but it technically isn't their fault because like because like it is their item, right? They can do whatever they want. But here's where it gets pretty interesting. Because someone who worked on the game and hasn't worked on the game for a while now, they are a part of the game at one point. They actually got a strike for this as well just because he worked on the game. And this person started freaking out because they were like, why did I get the strike for it? Because they weren't a part of the game or project for a long time now, even though they worked on it in the past. And then for some reason, Roblox also responded saying that, like, like they won't change the events, which is really weird because this person didn't even make it. And this whole situation was just very weird and very confusing. Because like the Roblox game did steal something, so it getting taken down does make sense, even though it was a bit harsh. But then someone who worked on the game and who hasn't worked on it in years, got like the repercussions for it and then Roblox said that they're not gonna do anything about it it was such a weird and random situation but luckily after all of this and this whole really confusing situation and like every party of this being kind of in the right and wrong after a little bit it seemed like they finally spoke out of the situation or they spoke together and they came to a resolvement because guess he was reinstated and the person who got the strike also got the strike removed and everything but with that being said game developers are not allowed to use UC stuff now without like the UC person's permission, which I know a lot of Roblox games do just because they thought they're allowed to use it. So this could be a massive issue for Roblox. But anyways, into our last story. So a few days ago, McDonald's actually launched uh, with a Happy Meal toy, collabing with Roblox or while well, collabing with Adami. And it's only available in a few countries and it's actually available in Canada. So I went out and actually bought two of these. And every Happy Meal now comes with like this Adopt Me box toy thing. And inside of it is just like a regular like Adopt Me pet and like, Every single one is like a different pet or something. And then it also comes with like stickers and stuff. It's pretty crazy actually, I can't even lie. Like even if you hate the game, you can't lie, it is pretty impressive. I actually bought two Happy Meals just to see like the different stuff. And I got the same toy, so that sucks. But with that being said, it is actually pretty crazy to see this happen. Like even though it isn't technically Roblox collabing with McDonald's, the fact that a Roblox game secured a collab is one of the biggest like fast food chains in the world is pretty wild to see. And if you enjoyed, check out this video where Roblox is stealing people's Robux, or so they thought, and I'll see you in the next one.